Hey there friends, thanks for checking in at the range now. I'm going to do a range comparison with the CZ P10C versus the Walther PDP. Both compact size striker fire handguns that many people rave about. The PDP performance duty pistol replaced the PPQ, the long-standing PPQ that a lot of people love. And the CZ P10C has been around for about five years and they expanded this line with the P10S and the P10F, the subcompact and the full size. But this is the original right here. This has an MSRP of 525, but now they make it optic ready right around 600 bucks. But this one is not optic ready. It does have three dot luminescent sights, 15 round mags, four inch barrel. You can see it has front serrations, an accessory rail, and a fine reputation. Now the trigger I'm measuring at five and a quarter pounds, right there with a very short reset. Ambidextrous controls, left-handed friendly across with the slide stop and the magazine release on both sides. I've got some talon grips on here. The initial launch with the P10C we saw the grip texturing overly aggressive. And I think CZ changed that. Well, I know they did with the P10S and the P10F because I believe they got feedback that it was very much heavy duty. So let's go ahead and take a few shots here. About 10 yards away. CZ P10C. Yeah, it's a great shooting handgun. They originally called this a Glock killer. I know a lot of people carry the P10 models. They're, they're fine handguns. I never had a problem with this since I've owned it. It has a great trigger and I love it. You know, five and a quarter. Now the price was raised 25 bucks. It initially came out at 499, but like most manufacturers are doing right now, they are increasing the MSRP because of the shortage. But now we have the Performance Duty Pistol. This is a new release, fairly new. A lot of people know about it by now. The Walther PDP Performance Duty Pistol. The Performance Duty theme runs throughout. Performance Duty grip, heavily textured. Has a great feel to it. A lot of people love the ergonomics with the PPQ. They took that same cross-directional texturing in there, added additional stippling, and they actually made it better which I found could be impossible with the PPQ, but they actually did. Super terrain slide serrations, that's what Walther calls it, and three dot metal sights. A full pick rail, and all of them are optic ready. Now the MSRP on this is 649, and they all come optic ready. Walther says this is the most modular gun that they've ever created. It now has a series of full size, both 5 inch and 4.5 inch, and they will all work with each other. The trigger I'm measuring right at 4 pounds. Now the PPQ trigger was 5.5 pounds, so it's a performance duty trigger with a very short reset. These two pistols have so much in common, it's unbelievable. So the P10C optic ready is 600 bucks. This is 649. You'll have to decide if it's worth it. It does have a ambi slide stop and the magazine release can be switched over, making that left-handed friendly as well. Let's take a few shots. Oh. All right. So the CZ P10C and the Walther PDP. What a difficult choice this is. Both compact size, four inch barrels, both have 15 round mags, MSRP within 50 bucks, and believe it or not, their loaded weight with both the P10C and the PDP is the same, 32 and a half ounces with 16 rounds. Which one? would you choose? Well, I'm going to give you my thoughts. 
being that there's not a great price difference and also the fact that you can't go wrong with either of them let's just get that out of the way i'm going with the walther pdp i love the ergos on it i think that walther did an amazing job the super terrain serrations are nice but that's not why i chose it i like the four pound trigger pull and i loved the ppq i love the pdp even more optics ready that's a user's choice but i had an optic on there i took it off that's not to say this isn't great it is the p10c has a fine reputation a lot of people love it but in this case i'm going with the walther pdp what i want to know is which one would you choose if you like videos like this, please subscribe and share. I always appreciate the thumbs up button. Thanks for watching, and you guys be safe.